Happy Saturday, this is me, Nancy. Welcome back to Glee's Accessory and Sauce Live Tutorial. Hope y'all have a fabulous Saturday. So we have this is super cute. Two nails that we did with velvety gels. And for last two days, oh, I'm showing you a blushing. So last two days, we're having really much fun with the um, Glee's velvety gels. And if you missed the videos, for the last few videos, feel free to check it out. This is one of a really cool, easy, simple way to do enhancement nails for DIY nails at home or is beginner nail tech or the nail techs who is in the field for many years and definitely want to have something is different enhancement beside acrylics uh, service offer for clients. You got to experience it when you are... Um, get a hands on this velvety gel is so silky smooth and it flows super easy and it definitely gonna really create this cool enhancement nails in like just a little short period of time and save you so much time and it's less filing and also is um odorless so check this out so i know a lot of you were asking for this and we're gonna be back with the velvety gels is probably in the upcoming um tutorial but today we are gonna do some cute acrylics ombre nails which as you see gliss currents have a 29 colors and all the colors they work all year round because we're selecting the most trended colors so then you don't have to it's getting like a hundred of colors first to get started so you can definitely get you know really cool in a way with a 29 color so let's get started i have uh, several colors here i picked 10 of them so one of those like really cool is ombre um with all those colors i have 10 2 4 6 8 and 10 so i have like a neon pink right on the top right here show can't we'll see show we'll not to it yeah, so neon pink. We're gonna doing a neon pink, and then on the two colors is my two favorites with the ombre, super easy and work with is this light nude number nineteen, and then number twenty two is base nude. This is the two colors. It's really easy and it's first basics for your ombre. So let's get started with <clears throat> one color at a time. We are gonna do. Let's start with this one. Is peachy, which is number twentieth. So submerging my brush, I'm using a brush number 14 is a Gliss acrylic brush. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Hi, Mika. Thank you, Mika, for pinning a code. I mean, for posting the code. And I'm going to do it just about 40, uh, 50 or 60 percent. You can do it half nails, a really thin coat. OK. And keep your brush really a flat, like a parallel with the nails. And it blend it down. Really soft look. Add a little bit more. And then we'll let it set. And I am going to using the colors and number 19 is light nude right here hello everyone thanks so much for tuning in so for all beginners really cool tip and tricks i'm going to pick is smaller beads first and place it right above of number 20 is peachy and blend it just so then we can get the beautiful ombre first and using the tip and whole entire belly of the bristle and gently blend it down okay thanks so much everyone and the second beads we're going to pick is smaller beads and we are going to place this right close to the cuticle about like just a hair away from the cuticles area and you are going to tuck it in. Make sure every time you are going to clean your brush. And 
use a bristle, the tip, the body, the belly of the bristle, and then you are going to blend that parts down. Make sure you taper inside. And going to one more. And now if you want to add any glitter on, you absolutely can. If you don't want to, you can cap it absolutely with uh, crystal clear. But maybe I can put some of my cute glitters on. I might do it's my little super adorable little um, butterflies just a little bit. And with this one, we're going to leave it like. You can add the glitters on it. <clears throat> you know what? I have the um, fine eye sheet. I'm going to take that. You know, where I get the fine eye sheet? Well, you can get it from the official website, but you are getting this fine eye sheets, a whole pack of fine eye sheets from the um, subscription box. All right. Hold on, do I get this uh, comment from someone? Yeah. Everybody's saying hi. And whoever asking about putting the stuff in the mail. I have fine eye sheet. Um, let me show you which one I'm using. Right here is from the uh, subscription box. I cut it yesterday. If you see me doing with the live video, sorry, I was quiet putting this one on. Happy with this. We're going to cap it with the uh, uh, crystal clear. And place it completely on the nails. Peel the nail down and using the belly of the bristle and blend your crystal clear. Great, so I want to let it set. And we're going to move on to the next one, okay? Let it dry and we'll shape it later. I think I like that even itself. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Next, we did this one at number 20 is, is peachy. And we want to move on to the next one. I believe this one is number three is fancy blue. Mm -hmm. 
So make sure you stir your powders up. <coughs> make sure you stir all of them up. Move on to the next one. I'm going to start with Fancy Blue. Submerging my brush into the monomer, pick the smaller beads and apply about 50% or 50% or 60% of the nails. And it's going to be the same concept if you do a short nails or a long nails, okay? Thank you, Mika. The special Christmas in July sales. It's one of the biggest sales, so check them out. This live is available right now, so you can check them out. So make sure that you have this. It's going to be a little bit thin because you are going to um, ombre it in. I did this really thin so then you can able to add more if you want to. And I'm going ahead and get the number 19, either 19 or 22. I think I like the 22 to the base nude first. I'm gonna do every the other, how about that? And then we're gonna pick the second one. Second beat. Oh, this one is not done yet. I no. Oh, nope. as the peachy though. So blend it using the belly of the bristle. So the first beats purpose of it to get it perfect on the ombre part, and then you are going back in the second one, second beats. To get into the cuticle area, I'm off a little bit. Second, and then again, blend it down. It's like um, Instagram it hitting my face. This one. Right. Oh, and then we'll kind of continue add it more. If you want this one, if you want any of the glitters, you can absolutely add the glitter on. If not, you can just cap it with crystal clear. This cap it right here is important. I'm gonna do it right between the pink, the base nude, and the um, number three fancy blue. Just treat it like a baby. You don't want to drag it so hard. Really light touch and blend. All right, and let it set on this side. And moving on to the next one. So we did this one done peachy and then a uh, fancy blue so now we're gonna go into is yellow sun number 15 yellow sun submerging my brush into the monomer and pick up the smaller beads of yellow sun it's really cool because I get to share with you because I'm going to have to wait for the nails to set and then before we move to the next one. And using the belly of the bristle, blend it. Okay. 
extrusive part is thin, so then you can blend other ones on. I'm gonna go in with number 19 light nude. Pick the smaller beads and walk right close to where the yellow sun's colors is in. Let it flow till the nail down just a little bit. And then blend it. Just use a belly. Don't use just the tips of the nails of the bristle because it's gonna drag a lot of powders off. It's really fair to touch. And go back and pick another bead. Make sure every time you are before you submerging the brush back into your monomers, make sure the brush is nice and clean. And now you blend it. add more if you want to perfect it. I'm happy with this wall going to gear, but I'm going to add just a little bit of yellows. And blend it up. When you have that, you know, like troubleshootings like that, you feel like it's not perfect the way you want it, just blend it. So much better. And then now you cap it. It's important to cap right between your pink and your yellow. If you want with the beginners, you want to get the caps right on the cuticle just in case that you are flying a little bit um, too heavy handed, you also can. Uh, using, you see that look like I'm doing a lot with the nails, but actually it's not, just really fair to touch. Just using my belly of the bristle to blend it and taper inside so then that sways the nail shape you're gonna look nice and precise and a narrow look okay moving on the next one so i just hit the instagram Moving on, the next one. Get the mitt in there. <clears throat> I'm only using a uh, number, maybe number, oh, I like that one. Number 10 too. And then we're gonna do is, um, this is neon green, this neon orange. So I have a lot of nails, a base for, to do a, Crystal placement. Small, so you make sure you mix it thoroughly. Yeah, can you wipe it up? Dream doll, just doing light, lighter touch, lighter touch it will. <clears throat> so then you won't pull all of your powders away. <coughs> On a smaller beads from uh, neon green, so beautiful colors get matching colors on the gel polish too. And 
and then now we're gonna do is smaller beads of number 19 I think it's 22 sorry base nude And I'm going to use the belly of the bristle and blend it. Pick a second bead, about the same size as the first bead. Place it close to the cuticles. And what you're gonna do is blend the beads with the second beads. The first, the second beads with the first bead. Keep the 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 brush is parallel with the nails. The lighting it make it look cool. So now you are happy with this, you can cap it with crystal clear. It's important carpets right here where your is a uh, base nude and the neon green ombre. So then when you are shaping and filing and buffing, you are not taking your ombre's effects off. To put it inside. Right, so let it set. We're gonna shape it later. Okay. Really beautiful. I'm gonna switch this one. A neon, neon pink. And uh, number 19, light smooth. So if the neon colors is really pigmented, so you're gonna need just a little bit. Just a little. Really beautiful. And then we're gonna do the first bead, smaller beads. We're doing two two beads. Place it right above your neon pink. And blend it with your belly of your bristle. Keep your brush flat. Palias glitz um, acrylics brush, not crimped at all. So then it stains really nice. So you can do ombre easier. And then the second coat. 
second beads we want to do we tuck right in the cuticles and blend it so like you can do one bead for the for the second beads like a light nude or you can do two beads to blend it away like blend it out the colors together just a little bit if you don't want to Not much and then you can able to get the and then what we're gonna do is crystal clear to cap is right where is the light nude and the neon pink. I'm using a size 14. Yeah, you can use between 12s, 14. Okay, so let this one set. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care of this one for me. Um, that's the people who just drop in there. Thank you. So this is a neon pink number 11 and I'm using with the light nude. And as I have number six. Oh, nice. A lot of numbers right there. Oh, let me do the number six. Aqua, so want to do it just really thin coat. About 50% or 60% of the um, nails. And you're going to blend it. I'm just, all I do is using the belly of my bristle. I don't using the tip. But sometimes at tip, you put too much pressures on it, it's going to pull all the powders off. Pick the second beads, which is also the first bead. Some stuff in there. And blend it. When I blend, I keep my brush is really parallel instead of 45 degree angle. I keep it really flat with the nail. So then the belly of the bristle will blend the ombre for you. Second beads as a smaller beads as well, and I'm gonna do it right close to the cuticles and then tuck it in. Hi, Brazil. Happy Saturday. Okay. I want to just get a little bit more. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Brazil. So now I want to cap it with the crystal clear. I'm gonna cap it right here where is your ombre is. Till the nail down.
and then use the same techniques, just your belly of the bristle and blend it. So let's move on to the next one, which is this is the aqua. And then we have four more colors. I'm loving this four too. I think it's a uh, neon orange. And then, um, did this mess it up? How would you mix and mess it up? Right. Just put them right here. Just put them right here. All right, so let me get a couple more now. So how are everybody doing so far? So good so far? Like ombre? Well, but this is gonna be our most popular, it's like ombre the clients will ask the most. So next ones, we have four more. We have a thousand more to go, but I'm gonna have four more right here. Neon orange. About 50% or 60%. Sorry, your heels like. I'm just mixing my powder so it make it fluffy. Neon, you have whole collection, yes, Brazil. And then what we're gonna do is this one we're gonna do is a uh, light nude, smaller beads. There's a thousand ways to do ombre. So many different way. I'm gonna do place the first beat will place right closer, right above of where is your orange is N. I just really want to do the um, yellow suns with this orange. That'd be cool, huh? All right. Really gentle touch. Let's add just a little bit more to blend it. Are you happy with this? What we're gonna do is put the crystal clear to blend it. Right in the middle of your slight nude and orange. All right, so let it set. Hey Dom, how are you? Let 
Next one is mango. And then we're going to do with the base note. I like that, the mangoes. There's another one. It's really easy to, to do the ombre. I'm going to do, I believe this one is a basin. I'm going to place right above in the neon orange. No, hold on. Mango. This number four. And using the bristle, belly of your bristle and blend it down. So the purpose I'm doing it two beads to get it's one beads perfect with the ombre first, and then the second beads will go in and um, perfect the cuticle area. So then you don't have to worry about your cuticles area and then your ombre at the same time. And then you can always go back and pick smaller bead touch up. You really like perfectionist. You want to blend your ombre to be perfect, perfect. And then after that, we're going to cap it with crystal clear. I'm going to do it right above right between right here with the base nude and mango till the nail down and just feather touch and guide yours powder to the center to be honest instead of not like a bulky on the side All right, so let this set. We are going to boot on to next one. This is mango number four. Now we have ours. Milky white and white. Give me a second. I love this shoe. It's perfect combinations of the white ombre. This is Milky White. Number 27, I believe. about 50 to 60% of the nail. So you're gonna apply the same thing, the concept to the shorter nails clients. You can do about 50% and really gentle with the powder. Okay. And then we're gonna using is number 22 base nude first beat right above of the milky white 
So then you can start create the ombre and blend it. It seems like classic pink and blue. Oh, pink and white. My bad. Yeah, I love this. The pink and white. I mean, I remember back like 20 years ago when we started with this, it don't have much of the option of like pink and white. To do it, we have so many really, really feather touch. And first beads already blend with ombre. Second beads, we're gonna do it right above the first beads, and just a hair away from your cuticles area, and then tuck it in. There's thousands of different ways to do ombre. You can find the best way to do it with, you know, sometimes with the shorter nails, I would do one beat. Longer nails, I would do two beats. You feel like another step will be taking longer, but actually it's not. It's two beats, going to do it really fast though, and then it perfect your ombre pretty much every single time. And then we're going to cap this with crystal clear. You're right. Brazil's never go out of style. Summer caps right between the base nude and the um, milky white. And let it flow. Really gentle if you're seeing that I'm touching it like very. I used to be really heavy handed. Well, guess what happened when I pulled my um, ombre? The whole entire my ombre is gone because too much pressures. Too much is not good. Too little is not good either. Too little then it's not blending the ombre. Too much is gonna pull your ombre off. So if you see that I doing a lot, touching a lot with this, actually mm, not really, because really fair to touch. You know why was our brushes will ruling and um gone so fast just because of one of the reason is that so here uh not here it's air dry so you see what my traffic down like here for 60 seconds under the air is <laughs> 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 this is on the key under the air. So now we're gonna do is the white, pure white, and um, light nude. Mm, something's on my light nude. Well, you know what? I had to. Uh, I had to. I don't want to get it there. A smaller bead. about 50 or 60 percent this keep in mind there's thousand different ways to do ombre this is one of what the ways i share with hope it helps and you can um play and practice and find out what's the best for you and go with this you know and keep this thin The reason is when you ombre, you want this part to be thin. And going to the next one, I'm gonna do pick the first beat, the smaller, and I'm gonna do right above of the um, pure white. And blend it. 
take advantage from it. It's still wet. That's the best time for you to blend it. If it get too set, the powder too set, then it will not blend. All right, next one, pick the smaller beads. Tuck it right in the close to the cuticles area. I mean, close to the cuticle, just a hair away. And now you're gonna blend it. I do like it a lot. It looks, hold on, I want to tap it with the crystal clear. Sorry. Can I see the other ones back, please, babe? The, can I, um, can I see the, um, the Milky White and the Base Nude? This is the white and the light nudes, and I think, I don't know which one you like. I like them really much. Bennett's request for three colors. Three colors? This is, so can you give me the, the gun? Give me the gun and I'll put the number in that to 25. In the room, 25 in the 19. So what would you call those two ombres right there? Ombre? Ombre pink and white. And the second. This one is ombre pink and white. You just need to get pick a two different one. Right. You know what? I do like, I do like this one a lot too. But however, well, you can't really tell until you put the top one on, but it looks, it looks well, it always looks so bright on the camera, but actually it's a two ombre colors. Perfect ombre. So 25 and 19. And this one is 27 and 22. The second one looks like velvety gel. Hmm? Like it's velvety gel? Yeah. And like a that, blushing? That, that one, that one. It's like a velvety gel? Yeah. When you put the milky white and the blushing together. It is? Hold on, do I have that one? Oh, shoot. It looks, this remind me a lot of velvety gels. I'm loving it too. So with all the beginners, like you'll start doing your structure for the nails and you feel like your are is getting, um, this one is cute. Oh, no, do I have that? So this one, no, 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 no. Do it 25 and both of them at the same okay. space out. 25 space and then 25 space 19, 27 space is. No, it don't do zero five, just take 25 and then give it to me. Oh, no, I'll show you. And then um, Milky White, Milky White, number 27, number 25. Hold on. The 25 and 19, 27, and 22. Just put here so then you can see the colors, how you can create this. It looks really cool. The one it said it looks so beautiful. Twenty-seven and twenty-two. Okay. This 
This is the two ones and acrylic and also on the velvety gels we did a lot of like Mika remind me of this one is like uh is velvety gel you see mm -hmm. is a pure white and blushing yeah the first one the 27 and 22 and 25 19. this one looks good somehow on facebook i'm sorry facebook and youtube it looks so dark on your end Maybe our lighting, but Instagram is absolutely perfect. It looks so perfect. This one looks perfect on the Instagram though. So when you're selecting the 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 colors, um, we're testing so many different colors and then we'll make sure it's go so trendy. So when you see on the pictures on the website, it's sometimes it's not gonna deliver exactly what you're expecting, but when you see in your person, it's totally is different. Um somehow it's on Facebook. The lighting is so bad. I'm sorry. You have a lot of light. Maybe. So turn it off then. No. <laughs> Here. All right. Let me let me give it a try and see what's up with this. Low, low, low. There you go. Does that look much better? Now it's too yeah. light. Sorry. No. A lot brighter, but no, now you can see the bright. color better. Now it's perfect for Facebook and uh yeah. youtube yeah. but instagram is too bright I all, already see it. I it's all right <clears throat> so let's um what is uh brazil want to see three colors so three colors here's a tip and trick for you doing an ombre so you can pretty much do a lot of ombre in a different way and it's the easiest way i don't have any more clear tip at all over here so easy way to do it ombre is really simple. You just need to find the family colors, which is for instance, like you can do your pink, uh, neon pink, and then you probably can pair it with peachy. So like really similar colors. So then you can ombre. So then that way it can blend well for you. Um, let's see, we can play with yellow sun. We do three colors of like a sunset. And then we can get Maybe a mango. And then it's neon orange. Can you move this one? Maybe close that one. That one. No. So when you do an ombre with three colors, you can do this one. You can do like marbling together too. But then if you want the three colors so we're gonna start with the neon orange first just the smaller beads it's about it's like we're gonna do probably about 40 percent 50 percent okay Really, really, really neon and blend. And then we'll move on to the next one, smaller beads. Again, there are a thousand of different ways to do is ombre. It's one of the way you can able to achieve. Blend. Your mango. And keep your bristles staying nice and flat. Oh, it looks really good in like person though. And then the last one, we're gonna pick the smaller beads in yellow sand. You know, and then all 
And here's the only thing you can do with three colors close together. But however, when if you pay attention when you do the ombre, you do two colors is already come out three colors. If you pay attention because it's blending with the colors in and fading down. And you can touch it up if you are missing anything or you want to be in perfect with this one. My pictures, a little bit of mango. So when you feel like is your ombre need to be more ombre, don't panic. Just get some colors and then you can get it. I feel like everybody quiet because probably just me talking. Like, oh my gosh, how can I get perfect ombre? Do not panic. Just make it perfect. Yeah. So let me do one more time for this one. Cut this crystal clear on. And also you can do that neon and also the red colors and then the um, yellow sun. You feel like it's a neon, it doesn't turn out perfect. Just don't worry, really just keep practice on it. You will get it really perfect in like, and also don't using the tip of your bristle, just using the belly of your bristles and blend it out. Just keep practicing and then you are going to, you don't want to see my first ombre, so. Okay, let it set here. And then we are going to do a couple nails for the crystal placement. And you can see that how the acrylics with acrylic brush, we don't crimp it. So then that way it has a perfect is the belly. So then when you're blending in your ombre, it will not give you a hard time. So let me get, put this away, clean my brush cap on to protect it. I'm gonna do is um, crystal placement. So when you're going on seeing all the videos, like a quick tutorial, quick videos, quick, quick video, um, you want to see it's perfect. The same with like YouTube universities. We'll all do editing. So we'll always pick the best part. So then to showcase it, 
on the reality, when you practice, you're going to have a lot of uh, troubleshooting. So don't feel bad at all. Just keep practicing. And um, your armor is going to be perfect, perfect every single time. I practice it too. So every single time is I'm practice, my armor is getting better and better. Same thing. So then sometimes we're watching really quick, fast, like two minutes, five minutes with ombre because we cut. And then we're probably swimming so many times to get it perfect. Just let you know if you are not doing any of, are you were thinking of doing a video for YouTube or TikToks or Instagram, just let you know. You're probably going to be filming 10 nails before you get perfect one. So when you're doing it, it looks like one shot perfect. That's how you're doing it for video, right? But then on the real, you know, like on the real life, it's going to take like nails after nails to get your ombre perfect. I just speak for my mindset how I'm doing it. If you see my dipping powder that you see on um, YouTube, to make it really simple for everyone, it's only five minutes long on YouTube channels and on Facebook. It takes me four hours to film one hand, eight hours for editing. So then you can see five minutes perfect. So if you're dipping the first time, you don't feel it perfect, it is okay. Keep practicing and don't let like all social media as fool you because of you are not good enough or you're not ready to show it off or you're not ready to do a videos or practicing, just do it. So guess what? If they laugh at you because your nails looks not perfect, Oh, well, they're only on a social media, so you can't see you. Uh, <laughs> your clients, the one is in the chair, will see your work. <laughs> Just kidding. You know why is I like, I'm not like freaking out if I make a mistake in front of you. Like, it's live video, you know? <laughs> no sugar. So yeah, so a lot of us will think, oh my God, I'll wait until I'll do perfect and I post the nail. Uh-uh, you will don't post the nails, you will never be perfect. Just go back way, back that way. You wet your nails until you get it perfect. We're gonna die before we're getting your nails perfect. So I might as well, I'm gonna post the nails, I'm gonna die, I'm still happy. Just kidding. <laughs> Just pick my mind for a lot of us, a lot of you that's out there thinking, doing your video. Just do it, just do it. You know what I'm telling you? The videos I did it three years ago. Now I don't like. I'm like, oh, I did that. Oh my gosh, it's so disaster. But hey, if I didn't start it, oh, actually four years ago. No, my first live video on you on Facebook was um eight years ago. I think when it's the Facebook, it just came out like in two thousand fourteen, seven years ago. When is Facebook just came out with um, live videos? So Facebook is way advanced now. But anyway, um, I'm going to ask Lily. Lily, can you check with Lily? Maybe Lily can help with shipping. Mm -hmm. Check with Lily. She can check. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Check with me. She can help me with the, with the shipping. Mm -hmm. Can Lily help? Shipping this for see. You okay, Lily? Okay, so we have a lot of colors. Just give you an idea of it. There's more colors gonna be on the way as well. Uh oh, this. Yep, ship. Just ship on the side. Maybe. This one I like it a lot though. You know, number twentieth and the light nudes. Just shape it in a point, Lily and Buffett. Yeah, that's right. Well, Lily, me and Mika were all like exalted, but we're so happy to be here. <laughs> Still dancing. It's funny, I, I'm telling you, is every time, if you have like, it's anybody's is have the same feeling with me too. I still have it too. 
sometimes we're watching stuff on social media, like on YouTube, Facebook, you know, and then you're like, oh my God, you're so tempting. They're doing so good. And then we're not that good. So let me wait until I editing my video perfect. And if I don't have a good for this of videos again, guess what? If you wait, probably your video will not release until next five months. And that content is no relevance no more. So I did and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to post it because it's not going to be perfect. But I just post it. So I believe this one is the uh, number 19 is light nude and 20 is peachy. And this is number 27 and 22, which is a uh, milky white and uh, base nude and pure white and a light nude. So which one want to design now? What peachy? This one, no design. That, that's all you get. If you're asking for ten dollars design, you have five dollars ombre and five dollars glitter. You top coat and you're good to go. Crystal gonna be another ten dollars or fifteen dollars. Yeah, twenty five nineteen. All right. So what? So okay, we're voting is B I A B Crystal. B I A B Crystal or neons or glow in the darks. <laughs> the autopilot's right now working. <laughs> Colorful. Oh, yeah. During sales, you get this thing? Oh, yes. So during sales right now, fast sales, you get this with what? Trifecta. Trifecta. So if you miss it last time, it's a great time to get it now for Christmas in July sales going on. Sometimes you see me do tutorials and then I didn't mention any sale because I really want you all to learn so much as possible. And I forgot to mention about sales. So a lot of you missing it until you watch my video later or until you're seeing it. So the great sales going on Christmas in July with special thanks to every single of you. And our special of our BA team is really dedicated. And a special thanks to you for past over three years, three and a half years with the love and support. So this is a special sales annual sales that you are going to take advantage from a lot of sales going on. We are a bit a lot of special sales. So check that out. If you missed to get a liquid can powder. Grab couple of them is is also really great sales as well. If you're missing a crystal kit, a huge crystal kit is on sale. Do not hesitate to click the checkout. Is what makes you pay until you are ready to check out. But you hit the checkout button, you're gonna see a massive of a saving you are going to get. So do not miss it. When you look on the website, it looks like a normal of the price because that how a system it work. When you're getting you will click out the check out the button. You're going to see a lot of sales on saving like a hundred and hundred dollars. I playing it around this morning and I see that and say, wow, Crystal Kids save up to 30%. Check them out. Um, and um, just shape it on the side for me, on the side for me. And um, you can able to get a lot, a lot of discounts, okay? Um, a lot of you was heritage to click the checkout button. If you check a button out button, they didn't ask you for credit card or anything yet. You will see what you want to add on and what you want to remove. <laughs> then you can go from there. But it's a lot of sales. Chantel Foy is a great sales. We'll have your favorites. Chantel Foy for such a good price. Up to 50% off. It is all 15% off. Five zero. So let's do some is um, crystal placement. I really want to keep this on itself. Looks really cool now. All right. And in this case, it's still about is have you have is gold and silver beads. <coughs> All right. I get an idea. Can you get me a cocktail? 
the in the back. Thank you. Oh my God, one was saying that up to 50% of like half of us gone. Go and check on the website. Go check a lot of sales. So crystal kit up to 50% off, but only there's a few of them. So you have the neon kit, you have the, and the, uh, the two glow the dark kit. So you will see them, they come with a tab with free trifecta. Those things will have three free trifecta. Mm -hmm. And your regular crystal kit is 30% off. Mm -hmm. Oh, regular kit is a massive. Okay, it has to get the big one, the big whole deal. Big one has like trifecta and then all different sorts of uh, goodies with it. So, <coughs> all right, let's get started with this. You are going to get this crystal kits, Tripecta, with neon and glow in the dark kits for free. Great chance, great investments for your business. You get a whole entire system for apply your crystal on. First thing first, want to do is condense glue gel. I'm going to use a neon and also I'm all going to using my glow in the dark. This is so pretty. Don't forget the no white top coat. find it so. I don't know you have to check it floating on the top so because you don't do a autopilot it's gonna be a manifest I'm telling you that's how it happened what <laughs> go back into Nick five years Then no more IGTV for you to watch. <laughs> just kidding. We we'll just make it cool and fun and goofy together at work. Okay, that's it. That's super cute though. Should we adding something else? I'm loving this kit. It's so nice and bright. Perfect. You'll never go wrong with this. Cute, huh? So I'm gonna get the centerpiece in this beautiful designs. I am using the drop and the heart is centerpiece. And Let's see. Good. Looks really good. I love the collection of this um, beads and frame on the neon kits and also is glow in the dark kits. Reselecting is really super cute 
cream and charm is all different sizes of the beads. So you can really enjoy it like a variety. These nails. So I'm using a combination of both. Let me see, I can grab the animal. It's right there. So cute. Right, so best thing about condensed glue gels and no white top coat that you don't have to let to worry about whenever if you need to adjusting it you can adjusting it the way you want and then you can cure after you're happy with the design all right so i'm gonna cure for 60 seconds Really want to add one more frame on this one. Thank you. Oh, because I put my frame on the other tray already. <clears throat> okay. So this one, can I get the neon uh, glow in the dark kits? Please, thank you. Mm -hmm. Glow in the dark kits. Over right here, I got it. <clears throat> a lot of you have this and a lot of you if you miss it for the first one you can get it now it's back in the stock it's ready to ship for you and also you also get what you're getting the crystal effect out as well that's nice free doing flash shells the crystal effect that's all you need and then I'm going to go ahead and do in condensed glue gels again. Blend it. Very nice. And no white top coat. Hmm? What? what did you do? You say? All right. Oh, I'm loving this one. I'm going to get that one. And then the S shape, I love this. The S shapes go with everything. I'm using neon. You can combine the neon.
And so I'm gonna combine the neon and the uh, glow in the dark. Oh, neon, yes, and the glow in the dark. This is really an amazing combo together. My feet on. A lot of <coughs> I'll move this on the side so I can get my. Yep, so Manchi, easiest way for you to go. When you're on the website, go to new arrival and you will see whichever kit that says free trifecta at the end of it. Take that one. Yes, yes. Free trifecta. Sex. Free trifecta is the best because you have everything you need for your kids. And also a lot of other kits is like really amazing on sale. I want this. This is everything. You have whole entire frame and the, I mean, the frame and the charm for you. So I'm using everything I need in this kits. Or oh, I get the neon from the other neon kits. We can get, get two kits. You get two free trifecta. You get like two a glow in the dark, which is the, the kits number one and number two. You get two free trifecta. All right. Happy with this? We are going to cure. Uh, let me move right there. Okay. Hand on it. It's cute and simple. All right, crystal try crystal placement is so much fun. All right, happy with this? Okay, for sixty second. No touch. Be careful. Easy. And I am excited because I can't wait to see we are going to do a virtual trip shows coming up on Monday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. CST. The last step, which is in your trifecta, you are going to receive, which one of the kits. Well, if you get three kits, you get three, three trifecta, crystal trifecta for free. If you have glow in the dark, neon kits, and also is yours two glow in the dark kits, number one and number two, they are work so well together. I'm gonna do is to double secure. Take the red cap off, don't lose it, and then you're gonna each time you're gonna squeeze just a little bit out if you find the edges that you need to seal it in. If you feel scratchy, like check 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 right here if you're scratchy right here you are going to squeeze it the feel is good you don't have to squeeze anything i am sealing on the top of the beads to prevent from tarnish but not on the top of the crystal and here for 60 seconds uh give me the next one mm -hmm. Same thing with this. And we are going to seal it in. Make sure you check. Feel squatchies and you're gonna squeeze it in and little go a long way. You don't wanna flutter your crystal. Here for 60 seconds. 
that's just nice the crystal placement is so much fun so this is done and then that is this old school and stunning is super easy and here is the second one let me clean that up for you how simple it is and it's also it's got a lot of um a b big crystal kits is is there so then you can definitely take advantage from a special sales all chamfer foil is 50 percent off such a great great price and also all of the order of 150 dollars you are going to automatically receive your free another free condensed glue gel so when you have is on after the discounts when you check out your total on the end of the total you pay out is 150 dollars you are going to receive this you do not need to add another one on if you add it on you gotta pay for it but if you don't need to during a sale flash sale for a whole week of Chris of christmas in july sales you are going to receive your condensed glue gel at the um a 0.5 ounces of condensed glue gel so you don't want to add it on so all the order doesn't matter whatever you order you can order so many of stickers is up to 50 percent off right now stickers and time for foil all the orders of 150 dollars if you have a uh, five orders of 150 dollars you are receiving is a uh, five a uh, free condensed glue gel this is a special thanks from glitz to every single of you for the love and support and instead of giving away for one person we are giving it away to every single glitz lover so when you are purchase the products on the uh website so all the order of 150 dollars remember you are going to receive a free gift of condensed glue gels and also whatever you free you have a special promotion free with this is also come with your kits as well like for instance if you're getting your is glow in the dark kits it is going to get you are going to get free is crystal trifecta so when you see it, it say a free crystal trifecta with that then take that one and then also when you get this and you hit to like what hundred and over hundred and fifty dollars you are going to receive your free is um condensed glue gels okay so anything you want like if you like the crystal clears if acrylic so much with the ombre that i share with you grab a couple of this and then if you love the channel for foils grab that also and then it really is a great uh, sales also a lot of you is asking for premium i hope channel for foil is saving your times and it definitely a game changer grab this one as well i think it's safe up to 30 percent off on the christmas in july and one of the biggest sales um of the years from a glitz assistant and such a special thank to every single of you besides on live tutorials with a lot of video clips and a lot of um tip and trick and from ours amazing dedications like a brand ambassador so um thank you so much for supporting them for using all of their codes and to supporting glitz and we are you know i can't say um thanks enough to every single of you and um if you have any questions for the sales you still wonder is you know what is the special for the free crystal trifecta let us know dm us info i mean dm us at glitz accessory and such board on facebook instagram also tiktokers as well tiktoks um what do you call tiktoker yes um if you have questions feel free and on um youtube also and facebook and instagram or, or you can definitely simply is email us info at glissassessorinsearch.com and do not worry about let me get the phone um i'm gonna show you it's really cool for instance let's see if i can do something on here you're going to glissassessorinsearch.com One is in the cart. Oh, for instance, like you're getting one of the crystal kits, right? And you check out. And you already see the Christmas in July. So you save like a $60 right there. It's going to say, it's going to tell you the products, how much you save. 
And then here's a tip and trick. If your order is $149.25, you probably want to go back into like $5 nail art and get to one of the items that you like. So then your you bump your order to $150, qualify for your free IHO condensed glue gels. So let me see what I can do so I can get my free gift. So maybe, oh, the dancing bear is here for a lot of you asking. Finally. And I say maybe I can get one of the, um, this is one of my favorites, is the 3D handcrafted flowers too. So I'm going to get one, add to the cart, and see what is going to end up for me. So I have two items on my cart. And do not worry, just click this one. Because if you don't click the check out, it doesn't ask you anything payment yet. Check the check out to see how, many, how much money you save before you even like decide to order, place an order. So now it's already like, tell me how much I save. So now look, I hit into 154 instead of 149. So I'm qualified for my free condensed, I hold condensed glue gels. Okay, so this is just a summer sample. And then now when you start, you know, if you want to order, you continue. So you can see the ideas how much you save. You know? Mm, spinning bear, yes. So I'm going to go back and shop again. Let me see. You can find the new arrivals with the kids. Oh, look, nice. It says... It's free trifecta. It's going on really fast. So just let you know, there's a lot of folks that is love it and order three kids get three trifecta. It's awesome. Make sure you fill up your uh, closets with trifecta. So that is a good investment instead of filling up with your purse. <laughs> filling up with your trifecta will go in a long way. So it's just um, it's some simple when you're going on shop and there and a lot of sales. So check them out. And I really, really appreciate every single of you for amazing love and support. We wouldn't be here without you on the bottom of our hearts. We really appreciate you and wish you all so much success. And we definitely going to see you on a Monday with another live tutorials. And then with our brand ambassador team doing is really amazing, is awesome, is a trick show going on. So I'm so excited and mark your save your date. It's a virtual trip show is going to be in this Monday. You're going to see the post from our page and also with all our brand ambassadors too. There's um, the trip show is going on on Monday the 19th at 3 to at 3 p.m. CST to 8 p.m. CST tuning in for a lot of like giveaway from our BA. And then it's a lot of cool, it's fun a giveaway as well. So thanks so much, everyone. I will see you in the next live video. Have a good day. Have a nice weekend. It's like an hour and a half after instead of like 45 minutes. But hey, I'm loving it. And I will see you then. Bye.